So we talked about this a little bit, but now with all we know, let's look at it a little more depth. So here's my biodesign farm where over time I changed the weed species competition by my management techniques. I was co-developing my soil organic matter system in my ecosystem. Now, I do need to tell you that at this stage in my life, in, my, in the mid-90s, I really didn't understand things as well, so I, I was not as active a co-developer as were the rest of the organisms in my agroecosystem. I like to think I'm a little more active now. But let's look again from just a little perspective, a little different prioritization of which relationships to manage. Let's look at our little friend here. And do you recognize him? Who is that round, flat leafed plant growing in among my clover between my flowering broccoli and oh. my mallow? And that happens to be Malva neglecta. So that plant co-developed with me. And the reason it, it does is because I had a cover, but in this case, I was doing spring tillage of that cover. And then it grew for 11 months, and I spring tilled at the same time, almost, certainly at the phenological same time every year. Yeah, I see, I see heads nodding. You're, you're seeing what I did, right? Because you're, you're starting to think like the natural system, and that, that makes me very happy. So let's look at this a little more deeply. So generally, there's a decrease in small seeded annuals with what I did providing summer niche filling cover and tilling in the spring. So my, my, my weed is not, is it, uh, a summer annual, is it? It's not, we don't see a lot of uh, lamb's quarters and pigweed growing here because number one, I, I fill the niche and number two, what else do I do? You know my system. I selectively mow and blow, right? So I mow any annual weeds that sneak through that cover that, in this case, uh, was white clover. Let's look at some more of the data. So what I found as I continued on with this experiment, looking at an untilled control, looking at minimum till, no till, and the compost pots. The minimum till is minimum till with compost added. Now let's look at what these different management techniques do to the life cycles and which weeds we saw. Total perennials are in blue. Who has the highest total perennial weeds, the untilled area where, where it was a 50-year-old pasture. Total annuals, who has the highest annuals? The compost pots that came probably, well, definitely came from off-farm and also my minimum till with compost. But I also was doing tillage there. I was doing two things. The no-till treatments had some of the fewest annuals. Let's look at biennials, compost pots and minimum till. Actually, they're all about the same, except the compost pots had the most. So the way we till is, I'm saying it a little differently than what Alan has been talking about in terms of, of, of succession species. The way we disturb the soil changes our weed composition in our growing beds. Do you see that? Yay! Thank you.